composed in Ireland, popular, classical, and so much more, Class 245. During the celebration of Irish creativity, we start in the Bronze Age and then move forward from the ancient music to the Irish love of the harp, the Irish Renaissance, and the Green Isles folk music. A wide diversity of Irish creativity, the perfect magical hour for St. Patrick's Day, Friday, March 17th, 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you can join me. Thank you. I'm Lola Sparrowhawk, and in celebration of Women's History Month, I'd like to invite you to attend my upcoming Oasis Zoom lecture, Women Who Changed History, on next Tuesday, March 14th, at 1 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. In this lecture, in class number 481, we are going to take a look at women in ancient times, in the common era, and through the modern age who have changed history. I hope you'll join me. Thank you. Hello, I'm historian Vincent Rossi. You might know the National Archives and Records Administration as the home of the original copies of the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, but it's also home to millions of individual records such as immigration, naturalization, and military records, many of them accessible online. Join me on Tuesday, March 14th at 10 a.m. at the Oasis Lifelong Learning Center at Grossmont in La Mesa as I describe the history of NARA and the records that it holds for all of us. Hi, my name is Aniko McCranzy, and I will be giving a talk on the American artist Mark Rothko on Tuesday, March 14th it's class number 660. Most people know Rothko because of his large, colorful, rectangular paintings. However, he began by painting urban scenes, figures, and images that taken from mythology and religion. And it took about 25 years before he painted his first color field painting. We'll delve into his difficult childhood, his influences, and his search for an art form that would accommodate his ideals. His goal is to create an active and spiritual relationship between the viewer and the painting. I hope you can join us. Hi, everybody. I'm Gwyneth Mapes, a professor of humanities in San Diego, California. And I'm going to be giving a lecture for San Diego Oasis. And the topic of the lecture is ancient, Mesopotamia, and the Near East. The ancient Near Eastern cultures in Sumeria, Akkadia, ancient Israel, Babylon, Assyria, and Persia traded, warred, and left amazing art and architecture that continues to be studied today. I hope you will join me on Friday, March 17th, one in the afternoon Pacific time for ancient Mesopotamia and the Near East. Thank you. Hi, I'm Blaine Davies. Heralded as the greatest combat commander of modern times, George Patton led American armies to sweeping victories in Africa, Sicily, and Western Europe during World War II. His lifelong friend and World War II commander, Dwight Eisenhower, believed that Patton was his best general in the field. Yet, in spite of his admiration and personal friendship, Eisenhower reluctantly relieved Patton after VE Day, for as I put it, not for what he's done, but for what he's going to do next. Please join me Monday, March 13th at 10 a.m. as we explore the life of the general that swore like a sailor, fought like a tiger, and became perhaps the most fascinating general in American history. Hi, I'm Marilyn McPhee, and I have a question for you. Do you believe in fairies? How about brownies? The only thing that things that come to mind are Disney's Tinkerbell and small girls in brown uniforms selling cookies. Well, there's an awful lot more to consider. So I hope you'll want to join me at Oasis and Grossmont Center on Friday, March the 17th at 1 p.m. That's St. Patrick's Day, of course. We'll talk about brownies and fairies and all of their friends and relatives like Boggles and Trows and Kelpies and Selkies will talk about what they look like and what they do, uh, several warnings for us mere mortals, and of course, there will be stories.
I look forward to seeing you then. Well, vitamins have been known for over 100 years. And when I was in medical school, I was told that if you eat a normal diet, you don't need to take vitamins. And that's true. The problem is there is no such thing as a normal diet any place on the planet. Nobody really eats a normal diet for a variety of reasons, which I'll discuss on Friday, March 17th at 10 in the morning. And yes, I know that's St. Patrick's Day. And I'll explain what vitamins are and who needs them. I'll also explain why some vitamin supplements don't do what was expected uh, of them. And finally, I'll explain the difference between a vitamin deficiency and a vitamin inadequacy. And that is a very important difference to maintain good health. So I'll see you on the morning of St. Patrick's Day. Hello, my name is Nadine Benry, and I am a health and wellness coach. I would love to invite you next Wednesday, March 15 at 10 a.m. to talk about fats, which ones are healthy and which ones are unhealthy, and how they actually affect our body. So please join me. It will be amazing to have you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Fariba Zadie. I'm with United Healthcare. I've been with United Healthcare about 14 years. And um, what we do, we train people about Medicare and how to apply and different plans that offer by United Healthcare. And we partner with Oasis about a year now. Uh, would you please come and join me on my classes? And I, I promise you, you will like it. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Aniko McCranzy, and I will be teaching class number 352 called From Realism to Abstraction. This is a hands-on art class that begins on Wednesday, March 15th. If you've ever wanted to create an abstract painting or drawing, but you don't know where to start, well, this is the class for you. I'll show you a step-by-step -step process that begins with a realistic drawing and ends with an abstract one. We'll pay special attention to things like composition, simplification, color, line, and the expressive and emotional nature of the image that you create. So join us, it'll be fun. Hi, my name is Janet Stoltner. I have been teaching needlework crafts here at Oasis for over a year, but have been creating great craft projects since I was a youngster. Crochet is a process of creating textiles or fabric by using a crochet hook to interlock loops of yarn, thread, or strands of other materials. From day one, you will begin learning the basic crochet stitches so that you can create beautiful and practical items. Over the three sessions of the class, we will complete several projects. Please join me in class 533, Beginner Practical Crochet, the class begins on March 14th at 10 a.m. Greetings, OASIS students. This is Nadine Bope, and I'm inviting you to my forthcoming class on the history of passports. Passports originated as legal travel documents sometime in the third century BC. These travel documents afforded you legal passage from one sovereign territory to another. They also declare citizenship and consequently provide legal protection while traveling in another country or territory. To procure a passport, there was usually some form of tax required, and this hasn't changed over time. Several types of passports and tiers of value exist today, and all are determined by one's legal citizenship status. Some individuals hold passports from many nations, and this can be based on one's ancestry, their financial holdings, or the ability to even purchase citizenship and therefore another passport. Not all passports are equal. Passports from some nations carry more value and freedom than others. Some are not recognized at all and prohibit entrance to many countries. Over time, various organizations have emerged to actually rate your passport. To find out how valuable your passport is and the unique history of passports, please join me on Zoom on March 16th at 1 p.m. I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Thank you. 
Hi everyone, I'm Peter Boland inviting you to join me this coming Friday and every Friday for Friday Reflections here at San Diego Oasis through the magic of our Zoom machines. Let's scratch down below the surface of our ordinary lives for hidden treasure and let's root back into the world's wisdom traditions for tools that we can wield to build a path out of this craziness toward our best life. That's what we do every Friday at Friday Reflections. See you there.